Hello there, and welcome to today's Arma 3 campaign video. I want to make one thing very clear from the start. Today's video is not going to follow the canonical Arma storyline. We are going to deviate from that, because we are once more going to play the Paradise Found mission. However, this time we are not going to follow orders, and we will not join the attack on the remnants of the AAF. Instead, we will go and investigate what happened to James. So, with that said, remember, this is not part of the official storyline, but it will answer some very important questions. So, let's go ahead, revert to this mission, and play it. If you have watched the previous video, then you know this part already. And these earthquakes will play a role today. That much I can tell you. All elements, we're moving out! Converge on the main road. Grid 218-180. Crossroads out. <coughs> Lieutenant, what the fuck? Where are you? I'm Lieutenant James? What the hell? Two one zero one eight nine. Up here. Something up there. Lieutenant, respond. So, as you know, if you have watched the previous episode, we now have two options. We can either follow orders and regroup with the NATO forces to push um, an attack against the last remaining AAF uh, force concentrations, or we can go ahead and investigate what happened with James. And that's exactly what we are going to do today. I'm not going to read the briefing again. Uh, we went through that in the previous video. We are directly going to find James. He said 210189. So we are taking the car. We are driving onto this dirt road here. We are following that dirt road until we hit this crossroad. We are then going right and then we are going north. I'm sure that I'll have to look at that again, but yeah, let's just go ahead. We're taking this car here. Good option. Armored. Let me turn on our GPS. That will help. Dirt road is up here. So why is this option not part of the official storyline? What is so different about it? Well, let's just say, without spoiling too much, that it leads to a completely different ending to the Arma 3 campaign. That is not at all compatible with what happens in the Apex expansion and in other missions that follow after this. In the distance we can see the fires burning on the front lines. We are now heading directly towards that. But our interest right now is to find James. He's not too far away now. I think I need to take a ride at this crossroad. Yes, I do. Heading directly towards that ominous pillar of smoke in the distance. Let's see what this is about. The road is a bit bumpy. 
I'll do that fine. Driving roads like this in an off-road vehicle is actually quite a lot of fun in real life too. Okay, here we are. What is going on here? Yeah, we are at a checkpoint. I see a plenty of dead guys. Let's park the car. Let's see for ourselves what, is, what has happened here. Some shooting in the distance. He's, this guy looks like CZ Special Forces. Okay. This guy doesn't though. What are you? Over here. Carry. There. Carry. There's not much time. Fuck, man. What happened? What is this place? Shut the fuck up. Listen, Kerry. In the base, there's something. A, 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 a truck. You'll know it. When you see it, you'll know. Lieutenant, respectfully, what the fuck are you talking about? Take it to Miller. He's... he's north of here. Miller? Where? Where north of here? Two zero zero. Two zero zero. <coughs> Ruins. <coughs> we tried. We. Oh, Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Fuck. That seems to be the end of Lieutenant James. Miller's weird plans have once again claimed a victim. But what the hell happened here? Plenty of dead sea set guys. But you are not sea set. British. Part of Miller's team. There's a base ahead of us. I'm looking for a truck. Let's go in. I can hear... I think I can hear a tank battle in the distance. What have I gotten myself into? Just what in the hell is taking so long? Terry, are you there? Rest That's enough of that. I turned off the radio. Yeah, our offensive over there is right now is not receiving the artillery support that it needs because um, I was supposed to be the spotter for that. Who knows how many unnecessary casualties are caused because of that. But I think what I hear is tank fire. So maybe the AAF um, company, the armored company or the remains of it, has started an offensive. A desperate last ditch counter offensive blown up armored vehicle. Wait. That guy's alive. He's not looking at me. Let's take him out. Got him. Nice headshot. No. The helmet stopped it. Well, he's dead now. Anybody else? I heard somebody shouting. So I need to be careful. We have more enemies probably inside here. This base has been under heavy attack apparently. Look at that. The guard tower up there is completely destroyed. Plenty of dead soldiers all around. This guy is not seasit. Yeah, another British soldier. Damn, how many of Miller's team died here? Another one. Let's be careful now. This seems to be the entrance. Jesus.
Jesus Christ, how many CSAT guys did they kill? Oh, they're quite good at that apparently. Miller's guys killing CSAT soldiers. I ran back because I don't know where that came from. Still don't know where that came from. Over there. Have a grenade. Did that hit you? Let me run the gauntlet. Make sure the other side is secure. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything along the wall. So I don't have to worry about my left side too much. Are you kidding me? Have that. Jesus Christ. Well, he did the right thing when the grenade landed. He ran forward. He should have run around the corner there. Okay, I'm down two grenades. Can you help me with that? Yes, you can. Oh, how lovely. Let's go inside. Gotta be it. The white dome. Yeah, it does look like a very special building. It looks very unusual. We should definitely check it out. Making sure that side is clear. I don't want to be shot from the flank. More destroyed vehicles. There's a truck. A truck with something loaded onto it. That must be it. That must be what I'm here for. Jesus Christ, so many dead seaside soldiers. And among them, the occasional dead British soldier. Looks like the attack was almost a complete success. But they didn't manage to get to the truck. They were stopped just in time by the remaining seaside soldiers. Well, it's now up to me to get this thing out of here. And to drive it to Miller. Wherever he is. Okay. Weird place. There's plenty more of these things that are loaded onto the truck. Weird thing. That looks like a bunch of dead scientists, maybe? This place is creepy as I. Very creepy. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now I need to go north to. 200, 200, which is up here. So we are exiting the base, we are turning left along the coast, following the coast, and then north. Okay, let's get to it. Jesus Christ, what is this thing? No idea, but let's bring it to Miller. This Caesar truck is looking quite nice. Oh boy, that thing must be heavy. Very heavy. The truck is accelerating very slowly. Okay, we're turning left. We're out of the base, left again. And let's follow the coastal road. Until we meet Miller.
crash through a fence or into anything. Careful. I need to turn right here. Drive along the beach could be such a pleasant thing to do, but somehow it doesn't feel like it. Might be all the war stuff around us and the destroyed buildings. Kind of dampens the mood. Okay, we are almost there. But whatever is in the back, it is really, really heavy. What the hell? Well, will you look at that? That's a British submarine. Astute class. So I guess that thing belongs to Miller. We are almost there. An antique and feet theater. Nice. Miller! Ah, Kerry. You certainly do have the tendency to show up unexpectedly. Old habits die hard. Hmm. Well, I'll take it from here. Not so fast. I think you owe me some answers. You do well to refrain from threatening me. This is what it's all been about, is it? Stratus, Mike 26, the airport, everything. You sabotaged the invasion. We needed more time. For what? To find this? What is it? That's classified. Fuck you, it is! Kerry, I swear, once more and I'll drop you where you stand. Think about it. When was the last time this region experienced tremors like these? There's been at least a dozen in the last few days alone. What? No, Miller, that's not good enough. Question I... time's over. All units, we've got multiple unknown contacts approaching the northern coast. Stand by, we might have a problem here. I'll tell you what, I like you, Kerry. I'll be back in an hour. If you're still here, I'll give you a way out. Things are about to get ugly. I'd suggest you keep your head down. All units, multiple hostile aircraft inbound. Well. All units! All units! Tactical withdrawal! I say again, get your guys out of there! What do you say to that? We finally know what Miller's true intentions were. He was trying to get his hands on that device on the back of the truck. All this, everything that happened, Everything leading up to this had only that one goal. And now that he has it, the events are spiraling completely out of control. And those were CSET aircraft. Boys looks like World War 3 is on the menu. And we... We are in a really bad place. He did also allude to the earthquakes, if you notice that. He did say that these earthquakes are very unusual for this region and they seem to be connected to that device. So, let's jump over to the next mission that follows immediately after this one to see what's going on with all of this. We'll skip the credits. You can no more win a war then you can win an earthquake. I really like that quote. Falcon, well? it's Carrie. Do you read me? I say again, Falcon, do you copy? Carrie? Look, the situation has changed. Too late. All we're dealing with here, I simply cannot take a risk. We can't return to the war zone. I'm sorry. You're on your own. What? Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck you, Miller. 
I'd risk my ass to save your life. What, all for a fucking suicide mission? Miller, respond. Just what the hell was this all about? So oh, much. God damn it, do you read me? Son of a bitch. That's an accurate description of Miller. <laughs> Sergeant what? Carey to any nearby unit. Does anyone read? Please respond. Anybody. God damn it. That'll be to find some boat. Can you catch me back? Ports and LZ should be marking my map. But I better stay the hell out of trouble. There we go. I think we all suspected that Miller was a giant asshole. And he has just proven that without a shadow of a doubt. We've been waiting here for more than one hour. And he has not returned. And now we are in a terrible situation. Looks like... Seaset forces are invading the island. Situation. All hell's broken loose. Seaset has made a massive counterattack, and the whole island is in flames. It feels like it's the beginning of a global war. We thought that the whole conflict would be over in the next few hours, that the AAF would simply surrender, but instead it's escalated beyond control. I don't know exactly what that thing I handed to Miller was, but CSAT certainly seems to value it highly. I've got to get out of here. Yeah, looks like CSAT is invading. And my guess is they are after that thing. How the hell do we get out of here? There are some airfields, ports, etc. marked on the map. Well, we need to head away from here. Let me actually, let me get up here, I'll take a look along the coast, see if I can maybe spot the boat. I should be so lucky, that would be ideal. Oh, but in the fog? I don't think so. Let's see, let's scan the coastline. <laughs> Nothing. Four kilometers, nothing. Even back there, nothing to see. Uh, there's more landmass out there. Trying to spot anything is difficult. But yeah, not working. Oh, what is over there? That's the seaside base. We might pay that thing a visit. Let's go ahead and get out of here. Before somebody shows up who might spoil our fun. Maybe I'll try to link up with NATO forces. They are marked in Pardos and Kalokodi. Maybe I can find some reinforcements there. That's the plan for right now. Let's take this truck here, this police vehicle. Let's see, yeah, keys are inside. I could turn the beacons and the sirens on, but... I mean, it's fun. Sure. But, nah. <laughs> I want to remain inconspicuous here. I feel that turning these things off will only get me into trouble. What's wrong with my view? Ah, there we go. What's wrong here? A dead seaset soldier. Probably dropped by the Brits. I need to go this way. Oh, nope. Missed my turn. Doesn't matter. We can rejoin the road over here. drive across the field. There we go, we are back on the road. Good, don't crush a chicken. Let's 
let's keep going. Our base is still on fire. Oh, there's a flare in the sky. Do you see that? Investigate the dome. Yeah, let's do that. But let's be really, really careful because apparently somebody is alive over there. So far so good. Nobody's bothering us. Okay, we are coming up towards the entrance. Let's turn the engine off now and just roll forward a little bit. Is this a side entrance? Let me investigate this. No, not really. Just a firing position. That flare is alarming. Somebody calling for help? What is that? Let's be really careful. Yeah, let's load a fresh magazine. Just in case. The entrance is just around the corner. There's still all these dead seaset guys around. But somebody fired that flare. I wonder if we have fresh Fresh ones. Dropped him. Hey, friendly down! Okay, he's not the only one. Throw grenade! There was one guy right ahead. Have a grenade. Grenades are awesome. Let's hope that that clears the entrance. We had one. It didn't clear the entrance. Let's hope this one does. I think that hurt somebody. Yeah, he went down. Shift the rifle to the left shoulder. And peek around this corner. That's a Caesar truck. This wasn't here before. So reinforcements arrived. careful here. How many of them are here? Okay. This wall seems clear. Let's continue. Don't think anybody's in the tower. This corner is clear. Let me collect myself for a moment and figure out what I want to do. I want to search this guy. Uh, is he so kind? Yeah. New grenades. You have seen that these are incredibly useful. Okay, let's move forward. Let's hope that that truck standing out there wasn't full of soldiers. The doors are open on that building. That too wasn't the case the last time I was here. I don't think so. This too. No, these doors were definitely closed. Do we have enemies inside the building? Let's investigate. Use the building to 
move through it so that I'm not in the open. Have to keep an eye on that door. Let's investigate the room. Empty, everything's empty. But this room is always tricky with these low walls. You never know if there's maybe an enemy behind one of them. Damn. Okay, let's get let's get out this door. There's the dome. Let's move behind these containers. Need to move down there. The the door is closed. That's new. The building on the other side with the open doors is freaking me out. Maybe I go over there and make sure that there are no surprises waiting for me. I will have to cross this open ground there. I don't like this. I don't like any of this. Let's disregard the building. I'm moving... I'm moving... down to this wall. I'm hoping for the best. And it worked. Voices right side. Probably inside the dome or... somewhere around it. I heard a voice, I'm sure. There are all these con little containers out here. Let's circle the dome. I don't know if it has another entrance. But if it has, I'd rather use that than the front entrance, to be honest. Just hope nobody comes up behind me. This this allows me to recover some stamina. Okay, there's some sandbags here. Yeah, there's another door on this side. Good. Voices inside. I definitely heard a voice. Let's reload. This could be tricky. How the hell do I open this without completely exposing myself? Let's see, can I hit the door? Oops, come on. Climb over this. Let's hit the door release. Move the rifle to the left shoulder. Slow. There. Feet. If I can see your feet, I can shoot you. Got two of them. Anybody else? Damn it. There's so much ground to cover here. I think there were only two enemies. I can't hear any more voices. Nobody's speaking. There's another door. Okay. Good to know. Oh, the containers can be opened. Okay. 
nothing inside. The devices are lit up. Yeah, there were two enemies here, I dropped them both. Let's go inside this thing and investigate. A bunch of dead scientists. What's all this seismic shit about? Just what the hell are you planning on doing with it, Miller? Altus region seismic hazard map. Okay. So these guys were doing seismic research. Seismic research. Connection with the unusual device and all the earthquakes and tremors that happened more and more frequently during the last few days. Huh. What could be going on here? Okay. I've completed this objective. Let's go ahead and continue our escape from the island by heading down towards Pados. Let's see if we can link up with friendly forces. Let's hit the door release. Hope that no more enemies have shown up. Doesn't seem like it. We killed those that did arrive inside that truck. Obviously, I'm not going to drive around the island towards Blue Four Forces in the stolen Caesar truck. So let's get back to the police car. Damn, there's a lot of dead guys here. Or I can proceed on foot. That might be safer. In any case, daylight is approaching. Not great. Definitely not great. Yeah, let's get the police car. And I'll be heading pretty much south down the dirt road towards Pardos. Let's go. Past this burning wreck here. Past this is Bravo 2 1. Does anybody read me? Anyone? What the fuck is going on? I hear you, Bravo. It's Sergeant Carey here. What's your status? I'm cut off in the middle of nowhere. Can you assist? Assist? Shit, man! We're in the need of help ourselves! Our transport was knocked out. We're holed up at some construction site, north of Paros. Okay. Right, okay. Just stay put. I'll find some truck and pick you up. Appreciate it. Oh, and just a heads up. Try to avoid any large settlements and the airbase. CSAT's executed a massive invasion on the whole island. From what we've seen, even the Greenbacks and CSAT are now hostile to each other. Some serious shit must have gone down. Oh, that's great. Oh, didn't want to do that. Open the gate. Where are these guys? NATO survivors? Yeah, just down the road. They sounded like they're in need of some help, so let's hurry up. We have just received a very important piece of information. AAF and CSAT are hostile to each other now. So, this is now a three-way fight. Everybody's shooting at everybody. Isn't that great? Let's hurry up. Oh, don't flip the car. Don't flip it. There you go. Shots. At me. Don't stop. In such a situation, do not stop. Keep driving. Life depends on it. I'll stop here. And I'm going to see if I can link up with those guys. Are they under fire? They don't seem to be. Okay. Let's stay in the car and bring the car to them. Let's get out of here. 
as fast as we can. I just hope they all fit inside the car. Maybe I shouldn't have brought a truck. Let's get out. Anybody alive? Oh, thank God. There you are. Hold fire! I'm friendly! Finally! Okay, Sergeant, you lead. Let's get us all out of here. How many of you are there? Good. Not too many. We can all fit inside the vehicle. But where do we go from here? They said to avoid the large settlements, but maybe we should try to help. There's a port down here at Cape Kategidis. Maybe we can get to that. However, how do I get there? If I circumvent Pardos and Kalohori, I can do that. Going along these dirt roads and just heading in that direction or heading this way, heading towards Adodopoli or something, maybe heading cross country for a bit. Yeah, going through these hills might be a better idea. They will give us some cover. Going towards Adodopoli and from there we might take this dirt road down towards the coast, the heliport, the ports, etc. See if that works. Uh, come on guys, let's get out of here before enemies show up. We definitely have fighting. It sounds like we have plenty of... Get in that vehicle. Plenty of fighting at Pardos. Yeah, I don't have too much fuel left. Everybody get in. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. By. We are going there, then we are turning right and going through the hills. Let's go. Let's just hope that our fuel will be enough. That we are not running into a seaset attack. That would be unhelpful. I see vehicle lights ahead. Let's head off. Front. Or flashlights, I'm not sure, but definitely CZ guys. Let's hurry up. Yeah, going this way was a good idea. Heading into Pardos. Rifle not a good. Oh my god. Right. Did you see that on the right? Enemy soldiers with flashlights. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, I want to go straight. I want to go straight. This way. Andreas, does anybody hear me? It's Sergeant Carey. Identify yourself. Hello, Carey. I know you. I'm from the FIA. Bro Beast. Can you help us? We're in the middle of the swamp. CSAT forces are in close proximity, but the entire area is mined. We are stuck here. Listen, the there's swamp. an AAF heliport nearby. We can't escape together from there if you can't help us out. All right, I'll see what I can do. Thank God. Okay, we wait. Just be aware, we've got one AAF guy with us. He's friendly, so don't shoot him. Okay, they are inside the swamp. They did mention that the area is mine, so I will have to be very careful, but maybe we can make this work. And then there's a heliport nearby, and we have a pilot with us. Okay, I'm heading down this road towards Rodopoli. Skirting Rodopoli, I'm going to head down on this dirt road and then we are heading towards the swamp. Yeah, let's do that. Let's hope that there are no surprises waiting at Rodopoli. I very narrowly avoided plenty of enemies just now. Pardos is in big, big trouble. It would have been a foolish idea to drive in there. Do I hear firefights ahead? I hope not. I might be hearing firefights ahead. Running out of fuel. We have to be fast now. Out of 
Dopoli is just in front of us. We are taking a left at this crossroad. Yeah, there's fighting inside the town. There's a fuel system though. No, we can't do this. Drive, drive, drive. Turning right down this dirt road. I just hope I have enough fuel to make it to the swamp. We're taking a left here. There we go. It's a good idea to stay on these side roads. I just hope the enemy doesn't have a tank somewhere or while watching the area. That would be certainly a bad thing. Okay, I'm coming up to a crossroad. On that crossroad I need to turn right. And then we'll turn left at the next opportunity. We're turning left right the hell now. That was a seasit vehicle ahead. And I'm not in the mood to find out if it is manned or not. Whoa, what? What? That's why I don't drive cross country. It's very easy to get your vehicle wrecked. Okay, this road leads towards the swamp as well. We'll have enough fuel. Lights ahead. Let's turn off the road. This is a cat and mouse game. Damn it. That bush probably did a little bit of damage to us, but it's fine. Okay. By going down this road, we are coming towards the southern side of the swamp. Good. We are almost there. This is the swamp to our left. Okay. Let's get the car off the road. And we're driving into the swamp. Looks like we'll have to leave the car behind now. Everybody, dismount. dismount. Yeah, I need to patch myself up a little bit. Waiting. Do they have contact up ahead? Seems to be a lot of shooting. Waiting. Jackson, are you an engineer? Jackson, come Ooh, here for a moment. On the way. Let me... Fire. Yeah, that's what I thought. Do you have a mine detector? You do. That's handy. Give me that. Do I have it now? No. Where is it? Did you drop it? Uh, okay. Do you go there? Four, move back. Solid copy. Standing by. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Where is it? Do I have it on me? Yes, I do. Oh my god. I'm blind. Okay. And yeah, we have a mine directly ahead of us. Oh, that's just lovely. Okay, you know what this calls for? Form, Form file. a file. Let's try to circumvent any mines. Fall back. Welcome. Crap. Are you with me? Fall back. Fall in behind Solid me, please. Cut. Even in the There's water. There's a mine here. Over there. Damn, this atmosphere is super spooky. The fog inside the swamp. This is awesome. 
Oh, the water is a bit deeper than I thought it would be. It's still fine. Let's just make sure that we don't run into a mine. That would be tragic. But so far we are okay. There's a structure over there. Is that where they're hiding? Let's be careful. There's a green chem light on the ground. Is somebody here? Am I in the right spot? No, not quite. Flare. That's giving off the light. Come on guys, let's continue. this direction. They can't be too far. The flare to the left is concerning. I don't know who fired that. A mine on our left. Spotted a mine. More mines to our front. I think we might be close to them. Another damn flare. Is that them shooting flares? I... God damn, I hope you are not shooting flares into the sky. They might be though. That's their direction. Mine in front of us in the water. It's getting complicated. Guys, stay behind me. I see a mine. Please avoid that thing. Please stay Return behind me. Directly behind me. Welcome. That flare to our rear is concerning. Hell is shooting up a bunch of flares here. Jesus Christ, guys. Return please stay directly Understood. behind me. Everything else is just too dangerous here. Okay. They're almost there, I think. Yeah, I see them. Won't you please stop spamming flares into the sky? Finally, here you are. Follow me. Thank God. We would have died in this shit hole. Our whole island is on fire. We must go. Not sure where we are going, but yeah, let's go. Please form an orderly line. Fall back. We are now going towards the east until we exit the swamp. And then we are going towards the heliport. Oh boy. Nobody stop into a mine, please. Nobody step into a mine. That would be tragic. We made it this far. This is good. Let's continue until we are out of this damn swamp. Who had the idea to mine a swamp? Return to formation. Must be these crazy maniacs from the AAF. Mines inside mine. the water. Let's go this way. Mine in front. Lights. Guys, hold your hold fire. fire. Enemy spotted. Man, 200 meters. Front. Stay low. I Everybody see fire on my command. Rifleman, 200 meters. Front. Yeah, 
gas going up. This this is complete crap. Fall back. Roger. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. Let's continue. Let's wait for this flare to die down before we cross this little gap here. This is a wild group. An AAF deserter, a policeman, etc. This is... Okay, I think the flare will go out any moment. Mine to our left. Return to formation. Nobody right. step into that crap. There's a mine here. We are heading southeast right now, but that's okay. We'll turn east soon enough. somewhere. Fall back. Stay behind Rush. me guys. They're all with me. I can't wait until I'm out of this damn minefield. Okay, this looks like dry ground now. I think we might be leaving the swamp now. Yes. Okay, let's get into a sensible formation. Form staggered column. Form a staggered column, guys. This still allows us to stay close together, but we are not as bunched up as before. Okay, we are now here. I will have to go up this little hill. We are going into these woods. We then, or we can stay down here, skirt this, and then come up here and get into this wood, which is directly above the heliport. That's a good idea. Return to formation. Everybody, please get behind me, you know, just in case of mines. We are following the edge of the swamp. Daylight. Well, sunrise is fast approaching. I heard an explosion. I think somebody stepped into a mine. <laughs> oh, damn it. I hope it was the AF who put these mines inside the swamp. Probably air dispersed to deny the swamp to the resistance fighters. Well, if it was them, then one of their soldiers stepped on one of their own mines. And that's always lovely. Okay, we are making good progress, we are making really good progress, we are not far away, not at all. Staying down here allows us to stay inside the fog a little bit longer, which reduces our visibility a lot. Okay, up there is the ridge line that we need to get up on, I think that, in fact, where those trees are, that's where we want to be. Let me verify that. Yes. So we are almost in position. It seems to me as if the fog is starting to lift. Yeah, I think we are just in time. We made good use of the fog. Do I hear a helicopter? Enemy spotted. Unknown contact. Half a click due east. Enemy spotted. Unknown contact. Half a click east. You guys are spotting something. I don't know what. Careful. There's some shooting happening contact. to Unknown the south of us. What the hell is this? Smoke over there. What is south of us? Down the coast. That port installation? 
possibly. What if CSET is destroying boats? To prevent anyone from leaving the island. Oh, that's a thought that I don't like. So far, we seem to be safe. And we are almost at the heliport. And there's a flare going up. Somebody's present over there. How much ammunition do I have? Not a whole lot, to be honest, but it's going to be enough. Let's load a fresh magazine. I'm, I'm definitely hearing a helicopter to the south. I hope it doesn't come this way. Okay, guys. Let's be really, really, really careful now, okay? This is our only chance to get off this damn island. Let's not blow it. Everybody's with me. Soon I will open up the formation into a line. We will then advance and take on whatever is in front of us. Line. Fan out. Well, well, well. You're making this look almost professional. You stay alive, you hear me? We need your gun, but don't die. Okay. Everyone, go Hit prone. The dirt. Let's head forward until we get eyes on the heliport. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, CSET. We've got an enemy. Medic, 200 meters, right up ahead. Soldier, A bunch of them. Front. Eyes on target. CSET has Man, taken the heliport. Hostiles! Shh, shut the fuck up. Shoot! Get to the stream. Let's get everybody into action. Enemy! Hostiles! Get ready. Standing by. Negative. That's one of my guys shining his light. Kill as many of them as you can. Do I have I have high explosive guns? Reloading! Wait! Two hundred meters! Right up ahead! Changing max! Okay, suppressing! There's a helicopter down there. Suppressive fire! Squad one, ready! We are taking them out one by one. We might have gotten them all. Standing by! And we are still On okay. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. Stay low! Standing by! Move out! Stay low! Go! I'll cover! Covering fire! Let's move towards the helicopter. Cover me! Go! Cover me! On the move! Okay, let's go! We are about to get out of here. On the move! Damn it. 
ground. I just hope that you are able to fly that thing. Where's the entrance to this thing? On the other side, of course. Guys. Copy my stance. Stay sharp. Let's go. We are getting out of here. There's a helicopter hovering there in the distance. That's a CSAT helicopter. Let's disregard that. And the general confusion, they maybe won't notice us. Or maybe I can pick up an anti-aircraft weapon from somewhere. There's plenty of dead guys here, so maybe one of them has something that's useful. Or maybe one of the CSAT soldiers has something. There's also this crate here. Quick look inside. Yeah, there we go. Hello. That's... That's what I need. That's an anti-aircraft missile. Uh, do I have a spare? I do. Just in case. So that hovering helicopter in the distance is about to have an accident. Meanwhile, let's prepare our exit here. Uh, Brown. Three, pilot, get in that vehicle. Roger. You pilot that thing. Everybody else. Ready. You will get into that wildcat. Helicopter. One and a half clicks south. The Two, helicopter's coming four, towards five, us. Six, seven, eight. Get in that vehicle. Reload. No Target need to. Down. That's gone. Let's get in. Uh, let's get in on the other side. Who is sitting in the passenger seat? Is that... That's you, isn't it? Get out. I'm taking that seat. I'm taking the co-pilot seat to... Get in. Board that vehicle. Understood. Let's see, Brown. You will fly us out to sea. We just need to get out of here. Three. Move to grid three. One. 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 Zero. We are leaving. We made it. Well, almost. Goodbye, Altus. You will not be missed in the condition that you're in right now. Would we have had... Okay, there are some enemies down there at the, on the beach. And there's not a single boat down here at this harbor. So it's a good thing we didn't go here. We are gone. Spec up, 800 meters west. Don't care, we are gone. Flying off into the fog. With plenty of fuel on board. That's it. See I'm sad to see that And so ends the alternate history version of the East Wind campaign. We made it. We are off the island. And that was the quote-unquote bad ending of the Arma 3 campaign. Of the East Wind campaign in Arma 3, I should say. But next week we will continue the story as it should be, because we are not quite done yet. There are still some things to explore and to experience. So, join me again next time, 
when we continue this fascinating story, now that we have a little bit more background information about what Miller was trying to achieve the whole time. Now that we know that it was Miller who manipulated the events all the time to get what he wanted. The mysterious device that apparently has a connection to the earthquakes. Don't worry, we'll find, m uh, we'll find out more about that in the future. For now, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed today's look at the alternate history and that you are looking forward to next time when we continue the story as it should be. For now, have some really great days and goodbye. Let me know in the comments what you think about these events. I think it's quite fascinating. Yeah. Alright. Goodbye.